We're down in the basement plant room. So can you show me where this thermal labyrinth is? Well, it's actually here, Angela. Do you want to go in and have a look? Yeah, sure. Well, this is it in here. And as you can see, it doesn't look much, but it's actually a, a, uh, a concrete passageway. And it's very thermally massive. It's a bit like Janolan Caves. I mean, you probably remember um, maybe when you were a kid, you went and visited Janolan Caves, and it was 40 degrees or 35 degrees outside. And as soon as you walked a little bit into the, into the cave, then it really cooled down. And interestingly enough, it cools down to about 18 degrees. And that's the temperature of the ground at about six meters and below. So what we're trying to do here is as the warm air or the cold air comes in to the building, it passes through this labyrinth and this labyrinth has got soil on both sides of it, and it picks up some of that ground temperature. So it either loses heat to the, to, the, to the ground or it picks up heat from the ground. And by the time the air travels the good 100 metres along this perimeter labyrinth to the air handling units, it's actually picked up a few extra degrees or it's lost a few extra degrees depending on what the temperature difference is between outside and inside. So in effect, it's a passive way of reducing energy consumption for the air conditioning systems because it's, it's reducing air temperature in summer and it's increasing the air temperature in winter. One of the other things I didn't actually mention was that what's interesting about these walls is that they, they're curved. Now, the reason that they're curved is because uh, they're actually a pile wall. Uh, holding up the soil behind them. But one of the benefits of that is it increases the surface area. And by increasing the surface area, you actually get better thermal transfer. So a rough wall and a, a curvy wall provide you much better heat transfer than just a, a flat wall. One of the other aspects too is that um, down here where it's quite dark and it's damp sometimes, uh, it's very important to make sure that there, there isn't any um, growth of bacteria such as Aspergillus because that can cause um, uh, respiratory problems. And so quite often, a lot of these thermal labyrinths are either, are either coated with a biocide, or in this case, the air that comes out of the, the thermal labyrinth is actually treated with uh, ultraviolet uh, light uh, before it goes into the air handling systems.